This has been our third year as part of the ALL programme. We wanted to make sure that the practices were spread right across our school. We had a wonderful reading called Colouring the White Spaces. The purpose of that was to really make us think about deep-seated assumptions and beliefs that we might have and how those assumptions and those beliefs might affect our relationships with one another, our relationships with children, and then how those relationships and those beliefs then affect our practices. We had some pretty challenging talk around that, but we then collectively came up with a set of shared beliefs I wanted everybody in the school to be able to say, oh, does that align with what it is that we believe here? It becomes a collective way of being, a collective way of thinking, believing and valuing. You know, good readers are good writers, but also mm -hmm. in the modelling and the sharing with their peers as well. We're so lucky at this school that everyone is so supportive of each other that we know that feedback, it's not always positive, but it's always critical feedback that is relevant and is going to support your teaching. It starts with a key belief that every child can and every child will learn in this environment. It's about us forming an effective relationship with that child so they show us what they know. But it's our job as professionals here to really get to the crux of what it is that that child needs to be able to learn. And part of that is knowing our learners, knowing our literacy practices, and knowing the next steps for that child, and knowing next steps for us. You've actually supported that with a little bit more detail, hey? That's what good writers do. Yeah. Well done, you. If I'm not doing something that's helping that child to learn, what do I have to do next to support that next step? Being a group of eight or nine teachers, we can pull in every single person's strength if there's a puzzle that we're stuck on or if there's some reading that we think we should do. I very purposely position myself as a learner alongside everybody. Sometimes I zip and let other people do the talking, but it was about making sure that I was reading the readings with the teachers, I was part of the discussions, and I was the learner in that classroom alongside those teachers as well. And I very much position myself that I make mistakes, I'm the biggest, <laughs> I'm the biggest mistake maker in this school, and it's about learning from it together, isn't it? We're creating that culture where we do have strengths and we do have things that we're working on, in order for us to improve, we all have to improve and support each other to be able to do that.